So the purpose of this one is to show you how to properly use the micropipettes, and by properly I mean safely and accurately. So that if you're asked to add 20 microliters of a sample, you're actually adding 20 microliters, not 40. And it's very easy to add the wrong volume if you don't know how to use these. The plunger has two stops. You press on it with your thumb. Um, you notice there's one stop, and then there's a second stop. And they both have different purposes. So the first stop, and that's the one that allows you to create just enough vacuum inside the pipette so that whenever you release it, and you have a tip here with a tube, it actually picks up the correct volume. And what I mean by correct volume is whichever volume you have indicated here on the display. If, on the other hand, as I'm collecting volume or some sample, I actually had gone not to the first stop, but to the second stop, and then collected my sample, that would have been a lot more than, than 20 microliters. It's often something like 40 or even 50. So the purpose of the second stop is that whenever I have my sample here and I'm going to transfer it to a different container, like a little tube, microtube, I'm make sure, making sure that the whole sample is leaving the tip by pushing a little bit of air out of the micropipette. And that little bit of air comes out by just going down to that second stop. Um, so again, to pick up, I go to the first. To eject, I go to the second. And I can demonstrate that very quickly here. I have some water, box of tips, and essentially I just open it up. I have again 20 microliters. First up, I essentially get my sample, I release the plunger, and there's my 20 microliters. You can actually see what it looks like. Now, what happens if I had actually gone to the second level to pick that water up. And then I went ahead and I picked up water. You can actually see there's pretty obviously a lot more water. Now just to show you what you would be using the second plunger for, I'm gonna uh, go to the first one to pick up the volume. And then essentially now to just, let's say that this is the place where I wanna put my sample in, I actually go to the second stop. And at that point, I made sure to basically get all of that. Now, when you're done using the tip, you get one of these. You press on this button with your thumb, uh, and it just checks it. So how do I know that I'm using the right micropipette? These come in different volumes or ranges, and they are used for different volumes of sample. Um, we have a P1000, and P1000, because we refer to the micropipette by the amount maximum amount that it can pick up. So a P1000 can pick up to 1000 microliters, and you can actually see it here, one milliliter, which equals 1000 microliters. So from 0.1 or 0 0.1 to one milliliter. So from 0 0.1 milliliters, which is the same as 100 microliters, uh, to uh, 1000 microliters, okay? Um, and then I have my P100, in my P100, uh, it says that the maximum volume it can pick up is 100. The smallest volume it can pick up is 10 microliters. And then I have my P10. In my P10, again, P10 refers to the maximum volume I can pick up. It's because that the most I can pick up with it is, is 10 microliters. Okay? It's kind of very good. Um, and then the, the least I can pick up is 0.5 microliters. Okay, so half a microliter. The question then is, all right, if I need to load 50 microliters, which of these should I use? So let's see that this is the closest pipette near you. You're like, you're about to load a sample and this is the one that's right next to you. Question is, is this the right, the right one to use? And so before I do that, okay, so 50 microliters. Let me go ahead and look down here and see what volume this is or what range of microliters this is. And you can actually see, again, this is the 0.5 to 10. Obviously, 50 is above 10, so I cannot use this, right? So this is just not, it hasn't been calibrated, nor is it able to pick up more than 10, okay? Um, I, I run the risk of breaking it if I begin to turn this up to above 10. Um, how about this one, P1000? So P1000 tells me I can do from 0.1 milliliters to 1 milliliter. 
that is the same as from 100 microliters to 1,000 microliters. So 0.1 milliliters, again, is 100 microliters. And so 100 microliters, is that above, below? Is that close to my volume? How much did I want to pick? 50. So 100 microliters is the least I can pick up with this guy. So if that's the least I can pick up, 50 is under the value, okay? of 0.1 milliliters, which is 100 microliters. I cannot use this one. What am I left with? I am left with this P100. So it says that it actually measures from 10 to 100 microliters. Okay, so if I'm picking up 50 microliters, that actually works perfectly. Now, the next thing would be, how do I adjust it? So I know I'm, I'm using the right one. So how do I go about, let's say it's 50, but right now it says, it says 20. So how do I get this to 50? So there's a couple of things to keep in mind. Um, right now there is actually a lock right here. And so whenever it's low, whenever it's been lowered, it is locked. So low for locked. And whenever it's up, you, whenever it's up, it is unlocked. So L, low for lock, U, up for unlock. So if it's unlocked, I can go ahead and move this around to adjust that volume okay and so right now what i'm interested in doing is i want to bring this up to 25 so i can basically just adjust it not 25 sorry 50. i can basically just turn that turn that and turn that until i get to 50 liters now that i'm done adjusting the volume I'm going to press down and lock my volume in place of 50. So this is now ready. So it is within range because it is, you know, 10 to 100. I have adjusted it to 50. Um, and one more thing. Somebody could be like, wait, Mr. Garcia, like, that's not 50. That is actually 500. You're not seeing that zero. Actually, that is not just, that's not 500. If you look at this line right here, this line is essentially a decimal place, right? Or like a decimal point, I should say. So 500, no, it's 50, then line, and then a zero, right? So what do you think this is? Is it 500 or is it 50.0, right? So let's say that I wanted to load 50.5, then what I would do is I would unlock it. Uh, and then I could bring this up just a little bit, oh, all the way, I could bring this up just a little bit to maybe let's say 50.5 and lock it right and now i have 50 microliters and a half 50.5 microliters so a lot of people will some people will get this confused right and they might actually be like okay so i need 500 microliters uh and so i'm basically just okay yeah this is 505 right so it's actually 50.5 you just keep that in mind that is actually a decimal point okay this is my smallest one right p10 and the p10 actually has a line as well, but that's also a decimal point. So there's four numbers, zero, four, five, zero. This is not 450, this is 4.50. So four point, that line, five, zero. However, there's one micropipette where that line does not represent a decimal point, it represents a coma, a coma. Um, and that is the only number between 10, P10, 100, P100, and 1000, P1000, well, we actually have a coma. So we don't have a coma in 10. We don't have a coma in 100. We have a coma in 1000. So only for that P1000 does this line represent a coma. So 1, 0, 0, 0. So this is 1000 microliters. Okay. Um, and so to adjust it, I do the same thing. Up, unlock. That lets me basically adjust this guy. Um, and something to note um, I am now at that maximum. 1,000 microliters. If I needed to load 1,200, one, like 1,100, maybe 1,050, I cannot use this micropipette. I mean, I could, but I would have to load 1,000 microliters. And then if I'm missing 50, because it's 1,050, I would use this guy. I would basically set this to 50. So 1,000 and then 50 for 1,050. I should not go above that 1,000, right? I'm moving this to adjust the volume. Um, but that's, that's as high as I can go. If I want to bring that volume down, so it's like, it's like a smaller volume, say 980, and I just turn it as needed to get to 980. Okay. 